What if the ringing in your ears really is not coming from your ears at all? Millions of people suffer with tinnitus, that constant buzzing, humming, or high-pitched ringing that never seems to stop. And far too often, the only answer they hear is, there's no clear cause. But here's something almost no one is told, something that the true culprit isn't in your ears. It's your teeth and jaw. Let me ask you this. Does your ringing change or get louder when you clench your jaw or move it side to side? Do you wake up with tightness in your jaw, morning headaches, or sore teeth from clenching? If so, that's your body sending you clues. And the problem may be dental, not auditory. And here's why. Your jaw, teeth, and ears are all wired together through one of the most powerful nerves in your head called the trigeminal nerve. This nerve branches into your teeth, your jaw, the muscles and face, but it also connects into the same brainstem hubs that process sound. And when the jaw is overloaded from clenching, grinding stress, or a misaligned bite, it floods the brainstem with extra nerve signals. Sitting right next door, the auditory system can get caught in this crossfire. Your brain then interprets the overload like static on a radio, and you hear it ringing. Now, consider your temporal mandibular joint, called the TMJ. This tiny hinge sits just millimeters from your ear canal. If it's inflamed, tight, or misaligned, the vibrations and muscle tension spill directly into the ear. That's why research shows that up to 80% of people with TMJ disorders also experience tinnitus. That's not a coincidence. That's anatomy at work. And it doesn't end there. Inside the ear are two microscopic muscles, the tensor tympani and the stapedius. They are partly controlled by the trigeminal and facial nerves. And when your jaw is irritated, these ear muscles can spasm or tighten, distorting sound vibrations, just like turning the knobs the wrong way on a stereo. The result is a phantom buzz or hum that isn't really in the ear, but inside your nervous system. Science is proving this link. A paper in the Frontiers of Neuroscience explained how trigeminal irritation can directly change auditory signals in the brainstem, altering how sound is perceived. Another study in the Journal of Oral Rehabilitation found that treating TMJ disorders significantly reduce tinnitus intensity in many patients. And a clinical trial in Cranio, the Journal of Craniomandibular Practice, shows that simple dental interventions like night guards or bite corrections often improve tinnitus symptoms. So think of it like this. Your jaw is a hinge of a door, and your ears are the window frame right beside it. If the hinge rattles, the vibrations shake the whole wall, and the windows hum. Or picture a noisy generator pressed against your house wall. Even if it's not inside your bedroom, you'll still hear the hum through the walls. That's exactly how your jaw problems can echo into your ears. And here's where it gets hopeful. People who correct their bite, get fitted for night guards, or treat dental infections often notice some remarkable changes. Their tinnitus starts to fade or even disappears. So when you take the strain off the jaw, you stop bombarding the auditory system. It's like straightening a bent antenna. The static clears and the signal smooths out tremendously. But here's what you can start doing for yourself right now. First, test it. Clench your jaw. Clench it down. Do you notice your ringing shift? Now move your jaw side to side. Does your pitch change? That's your diagnostic clue. Second, work on jaw relaxation. Throughout the day, keep your lips together, but your teeth slightly apart. This resting position takes a tremendous amount of pressure off the TMJ joint, the temporal mandibular joint. Third, try a warm compress over your jaw muscles before bed, or gently self-massage of the temples or jawline, and that should help you tremendously. Fourth, avoid chewing gum. Because biting hard foods or chewing mostly on one side, these habits overload the jaw. And fifth, you clench at night, ask your dentist about a night guard. 
This is one simple device that can protect your teeth and quiet the strain on your jaw. Six, mind your posture. A forward head posture stresses muscles of the neck, the jaw, which can amplify tinnitus. And practice neck stretches, keeping your screens at eye level because that will reduce a tremendous amount of pressure on those muscles as well. And of course, science understands that tinnitus has many other causes, age-related hearing loss, circulation issues, medications, and even neurological conditions. But here's the problem. The dental connection is one of the most overlooked. And for some people, this is the missing piece that no ENT exam or hearing test ever uncovered. So if you've been chasing answers for your tinnitus and nothing has worked, don't stop at the ear. Look at your teeth, look at your bite, your jaw, because the connection between dental health and tinnitus is real. Science is proving it, and for many, it may be the breakthrough their body has been waiting for. So before you accept that nothing can be done about your ringing in your ears, check your teeth, because your solution might be hiding in your smile. I hope you enjoyed this video. I only wish you good health. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.